Hey guys, welcome to the second hacking tutorial from TechRoost. This is Puxy and let's get right into it. In the previous tutorial, we installed Kali Linux on a virtual box and as you guys can see, I am already booted into my distribution. So the first thing you guys want to do is change the background. I know it's a dragon and it looks cool, but for me, it's hideous. So let's do it. Just choose whatever you guys like. Ah, much better. Now, what you want to do is update your distribution. So let's do that. Type in apt get update, hit enter. This might take a while depending on your internet connection. Let's wait for it to complete. And it's done. So type in clear. If you guys get any error, I know what the error is. You guys have to update your repository files. So copy this link to your browser and let's scroll and this is the distribution that we have installed. Copy all this and type in nano which is our terminal based editor. Go to slash etc apt sources dot list. This is a repository file and as you can see my repository file is already fixed so I don't have to do anything but if you guys are getting any error just delete all this content from over here and type and just paste all the things that we have copied from here and press X hit Y and enter now the second thing you guys want to do is I have to get dist upgrade now what this is gonna do is upgrade your whole distribution so I've already run this so I don't need to do it again uh, it might take a while it's about 1.5 gigs and it depends on your internet connection again after you're done with that uh, let's change the host name of your distribution we already did this in the installation process but let's just make sure type in cat which will print out all the things that are in a file uh, cat etc hosts hit enter as you guys can see I have named my distribution localhost Pandora and if there is Kali Linux anywhere written on it, just change it to something else because system administrator always look for log records from Kali. So after you're done doing that, we're going to install some tools that we really, really need for penetration testing. So let's just follow all the links. I'm going to copy this from my and uh, paste. Again, all the links will be in the video description hit register now for free if you guys do want to pay <laughs> 2000 bucks a year please download it but I don't recommend it if you're a newbie and click register now just provide all the details over here and hit register I already have done that so I'm just gonna copy the link that comes after it and paste and go after you're done filling all the forms, you want to hit this download Nasus. Just click over here. By the way, Nasus, I haven't told you, is a vulnerability scanner and we're really going to need it and actually it's best in the industry. So just click download and it should prompt you with a download pop up. Okay, uh, let's go Linux and download the. 64 bit version as I already have 64 bit version click agree if you guys want to go through that please do and if you guys have a 32 bit version you're gonna want to download this one so I already have this file so I'm gonna cancel this open up the terminal and type in cd downloads oops download oh god damn it downloads clear CD by the way stand for change directory it's gonna take you from one directory to another type in ls this is gonna list all the files and this should have listed Nasus why didn't it <laughs> okay let's just let me just open file manager or this okay I really don't have Nasus which is very weird oh that's right uh, type in slash I'm just gonna go to the directory where I have installed Nasus downloaded Nasus I'm sorry uh, slash root slash downloads ls there it is now what you guys want to do is dpkg dash i 
dpkg stand for debian package dash i stand for install and type in n tab press tab and it's going to complete the command for you and press enter this should install your nasus package the installation process is rather simple and as you can see it is already installed now what you guys want to do is activate it so go to slash etc slash init dot d and uh, n e w s u s d start now this is where all the initialization files are you can even do slash etc init dot d bluetooth start and as you guys can see i have bluetooth on my laptop and it's turned on I'm just going to turn this off and let's go to the web interface of Nasus. So type in localhost colon 8834. This is the port when Nasus listens. Okay, I forgot one thing. Type in HTTPS colon slash slash. HTTPS is very important because it is a secure connection. If you get this page, type in advanced, add exception and confirm security exception. Hit continue and it's going to want your username and put in a password you guys want. Okay, what the hell am I doing? And hit continue. Okay, this is a tip just don't ever hit remember now, not for your social media, not anything. And this is gonna ask you for your activation code. I'll just take it out from my cell phone. You guys should have this on your Gmail account that you provided. I'm pretty sure you guys are using Gmail. I mean, who uses Yahoo anymore? And let me just take it out and put in the activation code. I can actually show you the guys, show you guys the code because it's only one time use and their randomization feature is <laughs> pretty awesome. So hit enter and setup is complete. Nice. Now it's gonna download all the plugins required for vulnerability scanning. Uh, in the meantime, we can download another tool which I really really like it's called Veil Evasion so before installing Veil Evasion what you guys want to do is add 62-bit architecture 32-bit architecture to your Kali Linux if you have downloaded a 32-bit version of Kali Linux that's well and good if you haven't you're gonna want to add this architecture so type in dpkg dash dash add press tab it will complete the command architecture and type in i386 and I've already done that, so I'm not going to press enter, but it doesn't make any difference. After that, hit app to get update. And just uh, after adding the 32 bit architecture, you guys want to download the 32 bit version of mine. It helps you install all the Python binaries which. Veil Evasion is gonna need so type in apt get uh, install wine32 I already have it so it's saying you already have the latest version now let's wait for Nasus to complete it might take some time again depending on your internet connection in the meantime I should add this to my favorite because I really like to look into my activities and I'm not getting the full internet connection that I paid for but then again who does so let's just wait for it to download all right guys it just finished initializing and let's just log in so after you log in you're gonna be prompted with this screen and I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial don't forget to like subscribe and comment share uh, in the next tutorial we will actually get into more technical stuff. See ya!